in the early stages of what I was doing with fitting, I, I was trying to get everybody to be radial because I could explain it. And the thing about linear and the reason why people don't talk about linear is because it's hard to explain. You have to go through the process. I can't write, a, I can't write uh, an article about it because it's an experience that the person goes through. Right? I can explain radial because it's very scientific. It's, it's almost like you could say it's robotic, but it's, it's, it's hard to do. Linear is easier to do, or is easy to do, but hard to explain. So unless you have the tools to, to work with a linear stroke, it, it, it can be very difficult because we have to adjust head weight, we have to adjust counterweight, internal weight, grip weight. And if you don't really have the, the flexibility of that, it's more, it's more difficult to, to go through the experience. So the string helped define, drew a line in the sand, helped define how hard somebody was trying to hit a putt. And then I could gauge based on each putt, watching their stroke, and changing variables in the putter weight, I could then dial that person into it. So we don't want someone to sit there and hit three or four putts to the stream because I call that the Goldilocks syndrome. They're gonna figure out how to, to make a putt roll to the string. I want the person to be able to do that on the first try. If they can't, then I'm gonna start adjusting it. If the ball rolls up short, I gotta make it lighter some way or sometimes heavier. Just depends. Um, if, it goes, if it goes way by, I gotta make it heavier. But sometimes a putter that's too heavy causes over acceleration. A putter that's too light causes deceleration, right? So, so that's what, as the fitter or, or a person of knowledge in terms of this weighting scenario, being cognizant of the stroke pattern, the stroke length, and the acceleration pattern and watching what's going on, not playing Goldilocks, meaning that I'm looking for soft, looking for that's too hard, that's too soft, that's just right. Anybody can figure that out with three or four putts. Fortunately on the golf course, we only get one try at, right? So we gotta get it right from the get-go. Um, and this is sustainable, right? This is something once you find the right scenario about weight, handle weight, head weight, then once you go to a golf course, you can change the putter weight to offset different green speeds. So one of the drills that I have a player do is work at 15 feet. Boot yourself up. Each speed is like a hat, right? And if you don't have a hat rack, you got all these speeds, all these hats laying on the ground. Like, these, you know, like a, this hat is one foot, this hat's two foot, right? Without a baseline, it's very difficult to understand what to do from one foot, let alone 20 feet. But if you work at 15 feet, most of the tour players that come to me want to putt better at 15 feet. They tell me that. I gotta make more 15 footers. So I created a drill at 15 feet where they putt to the string and learn speed. Learn the dialogue that it takes to hit it over and over and over. Set the putter up for weight to that. Then when you go to different places, you will know by how fast that green is, by, by how far the ball rolls by or comes short. You say, wow, compared to what I'm used to, boy, this, this 15 footer, I'm knocking it a foot short. These greens are a foot slower than what I'm used to. Or it goes two feet by, you go, wow, these, these, this green's two feet faster than I'm used to. What do I do to offset that? Do I change myself or do I change the weight of the putter? It's no different, it's not tinkering. It'd be like saying, I got a two club uh, wind in my face, I normally hit my eight iron 160 yards. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna two club win, I'm just gonna hit the eight iron, I'm just gonna try to pound it harder. Right, that doesn't work. We're gonna shift down to a different iron. That's not tinkering. Neither is setting your putter up for each golf course, right? For each round. Sometimes golf greens stay the same throughout the whole um, uh, the summer, so you don't need to change them much, but they change on both ends of the season. Or if you go somewhere different where the greens are different than where you're used to. This drill will help you. I promise you, I've had tour players say that it's quadrupled their earnings, right? It's changed how they've uh, approach uh, a, a golf green because speed kills. If you don't putt with the correct speed, everything else falls apart.